Hey guys, Shun here. So I got another game of league for ya. So I just thought of the previous one. I am back. Uh, so you look at this game, 14 to 11, went really well. So I didn't optimize my item quite the way I needed to. Um, you can see they had everyone doing a bit of healing, so I should have went for an anti-heal instead of Phantom Dancer probably. I um, mean, if you look at our team comp, it, uh, well, more died 17 times. I could do reporting him, but I ultimately just decided not to. Like, it looked like he was trying, it just, he was not very good at the game. Um, <laughs> and then we have a cat who, look at her build, man. Like, 40, over oh, 45 minutes game, and she only had three completed items. That, that that's pretty bad. Um, uh, ultimately, this was a, uh, awkward game. I think I only had, like, two. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Um, definitely a weird game, to say the least. Like, some weird shit happens. I, I end up popping off and getting, like, crazy fed in the early game. So, yeah. Let's just get into graph real quick, because I think you want to see that. Second highest damage with Mordecai, so I had the highest. I had, like, 21k more damage than, uh, Mord. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's Rango damage it. Yeah. Let the, he did let, so him and Katarina did let damage than, and then everyone on the team except for the support, because the support is a Turk, who is going to be known for damage. Um, yeah. Lethal Temple, Triumph, Bloodline, Coup, you know, very simple runes. These are what you take pretty much every game. Um, except for Ku, that can be switched out for cut down if they have a mo have a few uh, bulky guys and you need to be able to shred them easier. But yeah, only got an A for this. Um, I was disappointed. This was a very good performance on my part, and I only got the A. Um, it's very unfortunate. So let's get into this. Uh, let's see how this goes. Should be good, All right? I just do what I I just did what I could with what I had. I I should have went for um Mortal Reminder instead of Phantom Dancer, but he should have had an anti heal item. He should have at least had an anti heal because all he's gonna be all these two we are gonna be are just you know cock blockers and you know giving me what I need right. Cause, uh, me and Mortal are the only two that are really drawn specifically me because I I I was doing really well at this game. So like T should have went like. Nomicon early. He should have went uh, Mortal Minder early. Just to allow me to match out my KA potential. Because Mundo was just, oh my god, so difficult to kill with all the healing. Um, so they put to go and electrocute randomly on MF. They play a lot of MF. So they have some, I get their one trick, and they just have a weird playstyle. But uh, they're going like some weird build. They're gonna have one lethality item, so it looks like they're going for a lethality build, but then they build like a rapid fire cannon and then a death dance and then I think they throw off rapid fire cannon for like what was it? A GA? It's like what what is this build? What is the build I'm looking at? Like it's very very weird to say the least. Like I, I wasn't able to understand what was going on there. This person not a lot of games with Draka and the new but I gave the armor to them because they played decently. They just weren't using the ability to poke very much. But, you know, Draka's known for poking the enemy a ton in lane phase. So you think you would poke more, but they just didn't. Um, it's a little unfortunate that they didn't need to uh, you know, poking. But, uh... You know, sometimes you don't get much. And, you know, do what you can with what you're given. But, by the way, they had three Infernal Dragons, by the way. They had... Our jungler had no presence at all that game. He had no, like, objective control going on. Banger should be curb stomping a year early, so he should be taking advantage of that fact. And he just does him. And it allowed for literally, like, I think Infernal pond, and then after that was another Infernal, and then right after that was another Infernal. So, and all three of them went to the enemy team. We had no Infernal Dragons. So, like, even then, we were still putting up a fight and winning team fight. That, that goes to show our team comp is pretty bad. Um, considering we have 
to attack and to really Minions not gonna do too much team fight. Uh, Katarina can, but he would have to be pretty fed. Um, the issue with deep he, he's very weak for like the entire game. Um, so yeah, they technically have two stats, but Yi is a superb team fighter, and he gets to be relatively fed. So Yi gets to run around in a team fight doing Yi thing. Cause I don't, I don't look at Yi as an attack, and I look at him as a uh, fighter, as a booster basically, a squishy booster. If I were to rock, I wouldn't heal there. That's that's wasting the mana. Right before we go to lane, that guy had life deal against uh, jungle creatures, and he had his smite, which will heal him. So you could tell that the Draco and a new, but you know, he took a sh threat shot. So there we go. So that is an interesting lane, to say the least. Like an interesting game in general. We don't see Mundo much these days, and this mod is pretty bad. I'm just gonna say it now. He does some really weird things. Some of them pay off, some of them don't. You're gonna see bot like did this Mundo have Clefto? What? I'm p I could have thought he had like a Conqueror or something. Did he really take Clefto? But I think I was different Mundo. You don't see Mundo much. I'm pretty sure I don't know what, but whatever. Yeah, he oh, yeah, there's the first blood given up. And yeah, he does have Clefto, what the heck? That's a weird moon to on a Mundo. Ha! That means to do my uh Isaiah thing. Up the mountain we go! Oh, I knew that thing that hurt. But just staying back here, I don't wanna get hit by that sun. I've played a bit of uh Tarek myself. We'll find enough ways for his support not to be too much. There we go, whittling him down with Draka would have like popped an ability on him or something. Could have potentially have killed him. Oh wait, Draka took a uh, barrier instead of Ignite. He randomly used the barrier at random times. To randomly use a barrier when there's no chance of dying at all. And then he won't have it for literally right when he needs it. It's so bad. Yeah, just me doing my thing, I'm trying to shove it. I'm trying to keep my level going up. I bet that I like, don't have mine. That MF, it, they don't even have a technical, they technically have an HT. It went like a lethality. We are building. You either commit to full lethality with MF, or you go a bit of a tap feed and then into lethality. Like, you you do one or the other. You don't try and miss. Like, you either go pure lethality or you go actual ADT. So you either make yourself nothing but an ult, or basically nothing but auto attacks. More or less. trying to DS right now. I can tell this is a lane where I'm going to be able to get quite a few kills. Like, I can already feel it out. They go to the night, like, I have no idea why he threw that. That just tells me, yeah, the guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Throwing down the night that early. I feel like the does not know what he's doing half the time. He is coming for the gank though. Sadly I get stunned, so not a lot there. I don't know why he jump in the bush there, like that wasted so much time. You tell the guy not used to playing Rango. Um He just ran well, they use our flash in here to let three out of four summon us gone. Which is nice. So like Rango should be trying to sneak the the dragon right now, he can definitely troll that ban uh, the infernal right now, but he just isn't doing it. 
Heck, I could come over and help him right now, because they just used us some. By the way, Mundo just randomly mid? That early in the game? Yeah, I, I had no idea what's going on in the game. You just don't see a top lane alone very much. Especially when they are behind in lane. Like, look at that DS difference. Yeah, he had two kills, but, uh... This dude's like double his son, more than double his son. <laughs> What's that? Boink! Kitty boink, kitty boink, kitty. You didn't look back my authority. They didn't look back my authority. They didn't affect the three feathers I had out. You had to affect the feathers. When you got an enemy's eye, you gotta affect the feathers, man. They'll come out of nowhere. If you're not careful. Like I, I knew it would come, man. It was too obvious of a gank. Like when I play that far forward without Vitten, or even with Vitten, I'm affecting the gank, so I'm always prepared to run. I always have my eye to on the. By the way, more is randomly bought. But yeah, I have my eye set on the territory right here. Whenever I'm, you know, that far forward. That way, if someone comes, whoosh, I'm ready. So I made, I had a feeling it was coming. It came, I threw one more feather, and then I ran. And was able to just root two of them, and they just didn't have a way to catch back up. So it got out pretty easy. So right now, I'm trying to see if I want to. I see the DS3 spot going. I'll let more taste that he needed to catch back up with his laner in terms of uh, KDA. Maybe I could have hit him to get like kill put No, I got kill participation. Cool. Okay, I did get kill participation. So I don't know why more is leaving top to on like. This dude's taking plate after plate. So the fact he just even out kill wise and had a gold had a death lead, about ten death lead. The guy had multiple plates, right? So it means he had the gold lead in top lane right now. My team is so bad dude. I, I always get teams like this that really don't seem to know much about what they're doing. No, I'm so right not now I'm just throwing my E. You. Try not yes, to overuse my mana until I have X and Reaver. But, by the way, uh, some of you might be wondering, do I think that the changes to Etta's Reaver are a buff, nerf, or neutral for the item? It's a serious buff, in my opinion. So, let's take a look at Etta's Reaver. It originally only had what? Just the attack damage on it. So, that means, now that it's at 70, that means it's had 10 attack damage added to it since the 9.3 crit rework. Okay. Did it get any increase to its price? No. It stayed at the 3,200 mark where it was. So, what does that mean? So it got a roughly 175 gold worth of attack damage added onto it without a price increase. So they're giving it a 100 gold increase. So we still got technically 75 gold worth of attack damage added on to it without a fight increase, technically. So even with the fight increase, it's technically a buff due to that. Because it's just giving a fight more fitting to what it needs to have. Because if you look at it, it got 175 gold worth or so worth of attack damage added. So let's take a look at what that means. As I said, they're giving it a increase of 100 gold. That means literally nothing. Because it means 75 gold worth of attack damage to boot that it had, technically. So it's still a buff. And then the fact that it no longer builds from pickaxe, and instead builds from a much better third back with the BF door. Because the original third back was pickaxe plus a launch sword, plus a control ward. Would be your third back. Well, that only gives you 35 attack damage. BF Sword gives you 40. 
to add to a little bit of a stronger third back than the normal one. Which is quite nice. Because a lot of ADT, when they had their first bat, they would get a BF sword because their first item built from BF sword. Tyre couldn't, he had to go with a pickaxe or a warhammer. And the issue with that is, if they would get done, they built a BF sword first, well, they would have more, way more fighting power. So now, she can build a first item BF sword, which is giving her a lot more fighting power early. Which, it, you're, you're going to see that show off in it in this video big time, like, oh my god, I felt so much stronger on my first bat than I've ever felt, like, my first bat with pickaxe and on sword did, doesn't feel this strong, that's how insane this is, it's overall an actual buffed item, in my opinion, that's what it feels like to me, so, like, he, he had the push thing, he had a push fetish, I, I don't get this guy, like, he played so hard with you, you know what's coming, So yeah. Already, man. That yeah. I should probably show before more. Looking at, it. I didn't really look at KDA too much this game in the other game. But yeah, I probably should have. That guy really had to push that in. And they don't realize it, but I actually have more fighting power early than the Chi does right now. Uh, so she really needs to be careful. She probably missed on... Had to, she probably thinking, oh, it's Zaya. She had to pick at. She won't have much power. Nah, thanks to the new uh, quality of life change made to Essence Weaver. By the way, he has red ring to pick God damn it. Holy shit. By oh, the way, what the heck did my officer do? So that was an issue from my previous video as well, I was noticing. I would throw my alt in a turn direction, and instead of going that direction, I, my character turned, my champion turned whipped around and throw it in another direction. Uh, it, is that happening to you guys? Let me know if any of you play Tire and that's happening to you, because it's happening to me quite frequently. Like, I'll throw out maybe, let's say, 30 alts in a single game. Only two to four of them will actually go where I want them to. Um, so, like, is that like a bug or what? Did that happen to you guys or what? Like, I'm confused right now. But yeah, the fighting power that this gives you at the first back is insane. Feels good to have that my first back. And if they had given Etis Weaver a 175 gold increase, then yet, I would say it's not a buff, but. And it's more of a neutral, but honestly, oh, it's red. They took it. Could ye control dragon pretty early in the game? Sadly. The Venga should have at least tried to steal. But nope. And that's a tad building lethality. Oh wait, I don't get why he had that red trinket that early, dude. It's a red trinket. Like, you're providing no warding until you complete your support item, which... Your support item doesn't provide vision until... Look, he's only like halfway to having vision with it, so he's not able to provide any ward. Only ward control, so... It tells me what he wants to do is he just wants to sit in bushes all game. All lane phase, I should say. And then jump out of bushes. Killing spree. So yeah, Mondo did... Go Klepto randomly. Weird. Um, so yeah. And now the Mundo is in bed. He doesn't know it, but the Mundo went magic resistant for his item. Why? Because it's against magic damage cleaner. He's going magic resistant. I'm pretty sure Mundo doesn't do magic damage, dude. I'm pretty sure he does physical. So, they did doing nothing for you. Is that anything to the band that we've been seeing now? There's an ult. I just want to force it out. Because if I want to fight them, I need the ult to be out. Is 
But as I said, we have to make an insane threat back for fighting power. What? That's 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 Oh wait, did you use the barrier here, I think? Nope. Oh my feather man. What the G though? What the G? You only D double D! There's his motherfucking alt down! <laughs> Baby! Man, that's what I'm talking about, man! Dude, does this guy not realize I have vision on him? Very annoying though, because the rocket just does not know how to be safe, and sadly, uh, it's a very annoying game. Very annoying. That's how decent that's going to touch. I am going to buy my, before I complete my, uh, at the three, I am actually getting my leave. It's just trying to go out quicker. That's basically the method behind it. I just want to get my feather out quickly. And by the way, hope we. Yep, they know that. Alright, they're paying attention. No heat there, so that's good. I was worried that they like would weren't paying attention and we're about to engage something. So I'm. I think. Uh, no, yeah, I'm going over here. I think I would contemplate going there and helping, but I'm like, nah, I gotta go bot. I could potentially roam, but I just need to complete my Etant Reaver. And I see uh, the enemy MF it now two two two. Sadly. Say hello to my little Jeff. There we go. Just getting him low because he's kind of the front line, and I want to make it sure he can't even front line. Good MF I can stretch with easy at this point. The F droid, Warhammer, Dagger, plus uh Reeve, yeah, I can stretch. Better start! Want this, want this, want this. Up. Doink. Did he just rock it and gives up kills like a motherfucker at this point, dude? Oh, I feel so much stronger though this early. Like, I never feel this strong this early, man. That BF toward is legit insane, dude. I love it. I love this quality of life change. I think it's overall a huge buff for her. She feels so much stronger than I usually do. Cat man. He doesn't seem very familiar with mid lane. Let me show you. Oh my god. Keep mind, there's a two infernal dragon. 17 minutes into the game, giving up now. The G. Um, and keep mine. That sailing we can never get back now. We need the next one to at least even it out a little bit. Jesus, dude. The fact we even can fight at this point. Just shows how insane. Like, you're gonna see something crazy happen to him. Like, something very crazy happen. Wait, right, he's three and six. What the crap? <laughs> But yeah, I gotta say, muy mm, ausente. I love, love the BS sword. It's exactly what he needed. So yeah, overall, 
DP to fight doesn't matter if they had added an extra 75, then it would have mattered. It would have evened out the amount based on how much AD it got recently. But it still technically had more AD than its fight. Um, and then on top of that, it now builds from a BF tour instead of a pickaxe, which it, it just amazing for a third back. And if you end up having, and like before, if you ended up having a rough first bat, rough early lane and had a back early, and couldn't afford the pickaxe, you would just go on towards, there you go. So that's what you do here, so if you just have to bat too early and can't afford the BF drawer, it's a ten case if you couldn't afford the pickaxe, you buy Lawn Sword. And work on Warhammer. So Warhammer ain't a bad power pack either, but it's AD, but you can see the, uh, the cool fire. So yeah, I'm about 30 from ahead of MF at the moment. Uh, Mundo teleporting in. Randomly. Sadly, it's not really going to accomplish anything. I'll throw that out. And to, to use a barrier then when she wasn't at any risk of dying. So now she's not going to have a barrier. Don't stand so, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're about to be looking for a shit ton of help down here and, and no one coming to help. Uh, yeah, they have to pay for help. Uh, three to reach a lot now. Doing what I can with what I'm giving. That's always how I operate. Now Taraka, I think, is ping- no, I'm pinging again. Taraka's going to start pinging in a moment. This is ridiculous. We got three people chilling bar. Katarina's just chilling in base right now. If you're going to chill in base like that, at least ping why you are. Because you just fuck your way through so much time. And you're going to fall behind the SDI for her to do that. So make sure you're pinging why. If you're just a little bit of gold off, like maybe like five, ten gold off or something, then from your item you want to buy, then alright, ping that how much gold you'd need for that item. But, oh god, feeding. People haven't adjusted to the new, I think they jet off it to again or something, this path or whatever. And I guess they're just not getting used to how much, how much weaker he is now, because they've hit his numbers again. Trying to even him out. Finally, help! <gasps> We couldn't get help when there were three people far, but we can when there are two of them, and we can actually fight this. Interesting, huh? We can fight the attack. Look, see now, just leap out into rapid fight. Doink! Yeah, yeah, that all. Fuck that all. Thing is, people, that turret could not know how it all works. It takes a few seconds before you gain invincibility. So you need to back off a little bit, because if you just go forward and you're getting shredded by three people, you're going to die too quickly. And MF didn't want to stay and fight that, because she's like, no, fuck that. <laughs> she knows they can't win it. Um, she knows just how much further ahead I am. I literally have 30 jets over her. She knows that they're quickly to fight me. And Draka can heal a ton for her team. Uh, Turret heal is quite little, he doesn't heal much, he just, you don't build AP, you don't build iron tensor, you just do your heal base bait oriented. And there's a mountain dragon, I don't even know if we're gonna get it. It's a very frustrating game. They do have two infernos, they're just really sucking right now, damn it. So Echo's coming in, uh, Echo's being really done with this. He had all. There's his flash, there's his ult. Does he have barrier? Because he just gained a ginormous shield from guessing he needs to run barrier randomly on a fucking assassin. So that's what I don't get. Why would you use barrier when you're on a fucking assassin? Your goal is just to kill things. Not to survive. Your goal is to kill things in Rome. And Ignite is not going to help you snowball in an early game, which is what you need to do as an assassin. Um, so I don't know why he went barrier. If he didn't go barrier, he would have been dead there yet. Because Ignite wouldn't have done much for him. That person trying to get into auto tap range, I'm guessing. 
<laughs> and I've had very short auto range. Um, no, wait, Echo's up there, that's why I'm not leaving to it. And I don't know why he's doing this. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. I had Flash, so, so he probably thought he was out of range of me or something. And, you know, waiting for a teammate to get through the turret, but. I'm just gonna be in there. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I'm just gonna be in there. Where are things in the edge that way if it comes out alive? And I get the kill, yet! Yes, he came out just as he was about to die, and I was able to take it. I didn't want to give it to this dude, because you see how this guy's doing, right? You see how he's performing? He took to 9, 95 firm, you look at me, 103 firm. And I was 4, 1, 1. Only put it on my team I trust to do well with and the and think to kill it at me at that point. Cause it's could like two and four, two and four, two to nine. I was four and one. T two two, but two because he does support so he two and four. Two death, four attack, so he doing okay. Uh so yeah, what it's coming down to is I'm just looking to get as much of an early lead as I can. And you gotta also keep mine. I'm looking up. I'm looking at the dragons. They have two infernal so That means even though MF and me are roughly even item wide more or less, she had the infernal dragon tailing up in her damage as well. So I just need to snowball as hard as I can, and get bigger lead as I can, and get more, get like a couple items ahead of her to make up for the fact that they have multiple infernal. By the way, I think Yi. Nope, there to Yi. Okay, cool. He isn't going for the uh, mountain right now. So I got rapid fire on myself because I'm just looking for math on damage right now. Next thing I should have probably went for it is a uh, mortal reminder for anti healing and a bit of armor shred because he is building armor now. Cause looking at my team comp, AD, AD, AP, AP. I would. So he's just looking to tank up because he is a tank after all. I wouldn't have gone to fire though, a second item. I would have gone like. Um, would have went like Omen because it's great into crit champ and Josiah is very well known for building uh trying five percent chance crit uh trying five percent crit chance. You know? Very well known for doing that because he can do it quite easily. And her blade called tails with A D and crit. So yeah, that would that play with on Echo. Uh, Echo I don't know what he thought he was doing. I guess he was trying to say back, like, haha, I'm cutting off your way of retreat so you can't retreat. That way my team can take that tower real quick and then come get you. I guess that's what he was trying to do. By the way, third Infernal Dragon coming up around like 28 minutes into the game or so. Uh, so here's the thing about that. If I'm like, uh. Issue is, I guess he thought, oh, it's too low, there's no way to try and do it, you know, because I have plenty of speed, there's no way to actually try it. No, I, I, I would try it, dude. I would try it in a fucking heavy. He probably thought he'd just back away a bit if I do try and come in, like, I'm daring enough to try it. And he think, oh, wait, maybe, oh, wait, does he, can he win this? Oh, I'll back off then. You know, that's what, he's going to do that. That was terrible, all on But yeah, I just did that because uh, Yi would... So we could have killed Yi without me ulting there, and I wasn't going to die there. But if I didn't ult there, Taraka would have been dead. Um, Taraka actually would have died, and Yi would have got something out of that. Instead, Yi didn't kill anyone, and died. You know. So I was fine with that. You know, I want to try and... You know, I like to try and protect my support a bit because I want my support to do everything in their power to protect me. So I'm also going to do what I can to protect them when I'm able to. Because if I'm doing that for them, then they're going to do that for me. You know, that's how how I've been. I've had ADC that don't do anything to help their support. Um, like I'm not even that greedy with my heal. I'll be greedy at times if I think it's possible for us to win the fight without me healing. I won't use heal. But if I think it's not, if I think otherwise, I will use heal. I just, if I'm at, if I'm absolutely like in my head, positive, you can win the fight without me using heal. I won't use heal. And it's because it just you have to be a little greedy with your heal. 
So I did go Blue Trinket. Maybe the reason I got an A is because I just didn't find my Fitz and Shore. Because Blue Trinket don't add to the Fitz and Shore for some reason. So I'm throwing my Q there to see if anyone's chilling in the bush. And then T goes for a ward. Honestly, we can fight that dude. Oh, Mundo teleporting in behind us. That's fine, dude. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's I should have held his Q. We should have won that, but uh, <laughs> uh it's annoying. Entirely, I did use my ult up here. What did no? I do have to be a little more greedy with my ult as I uh, done a long cooldown, and I need like after that point, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna start being greedy with my ult. It's clear that I kind of have to be now. So yeah, there's the second lethality item. But he's also building what is he building lethality or is he building a lot like what what is he building? He's been battling me all game honestly. Probably like the echo. Doing some weird stuff there. Remember and now another BF sword. So I am going for that GA uh, that IE. And I am going to GA the game cut attack damage. Cat damage. I'm pretty sure Mondo does attack cat damage. And I just need to not. By the way, now it's gone death game. What the fuck is this MF do? Like, I don't know why I have to run so far fucking forward. We win this fucking fight. Except we win this fucking fight. We're all here, and I'm fed. I'm a fucking hyper down AD and MF if he doesn't have an ult. Remember, if MF doesn't have a fucking ult with this build, she's basically putting herself in a part where she's not doing that much if she doesn't have all. ult. He's short range auto and it's building basically to up the damage of her ult, but not really. So she's very relying on her ult to win, to do anything in the team fight. Issue with that is. I use my auto, that's my choice damage. I use my auto to up my damage, honestly. My auto give me first, my auto is my second damage. Yeah. Yeah. I had a heal flash there. <laughs> I'm like, back out, guys. Back out. They're not backing out. Um, so I have to come back. And, uh, uh, I'm not sure. No, no. I should have greeted there and just went, yeah, if you guys want to die, that's fine. I'll just run. That's what I should have done. I just have that mentality of trying to keep my team alive, and it backfires a lot of times. So if you look at this build, He does have a lot of at night. Red team has slain the dragon. And they're the third infernal. Mace winning very hard when they have triple infernal because infernal is literally the most powerful of all the guys. Because they're the pretend. The team that gets. You know, if a team has one Infernal and the other team has none, the chances of winning go top. Two, three, and go top with each Infernal they get. So they have three freaking Infernals right now. <laughs> Jesus. That's insane. <laughs> Grab a quick jungle camp on my way. I don't know why Moy is making me go in front of him. Does he, does he not understand the fact that I'm the ADT? I should not be in the front of my whole team. I should be in the back line. Moy, you're a front mining champ. You should be in the front line. That's yeah, fine. He, he got a long way to go before he can get back around and help his team. 
He should have kept moving around, dude. He should have tried to avoid that Q and then do his channel. That's what he should have done. Shut down. I'm rich. I'm a rich motherfucker. So, yeah, I have learned uh, Mortal Mind of looking at that team comp now. It's like tons of healing. Tons of healing. Tons of healing. You don't usually see Gunblade on Echo. You usually see Lunar Echo. Okay. Um, let's see. A well, bit of healing here. To heal a lot randomly with just this for healing and Durant play. I wouldn't think too would, but to heal a lot more than you would think. Um, and he had a bit of healing in the form of the W, so yeah. More reminder, Volta and Armour Shroud and him would be nice if Thornmail plus this. That's 25% Armour Shred. No, it's 45, or it's 35, right? More reminder, 35 or is it 25? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, Armour Shred would have been good. Um... He probably should have got either more Minder or Lord Dominus. If he got Lord Dominus, then I would have went Minder. If he went Minder, I would have got Lord Dominus just to, you know, like, chill with the red and Mundo. So that guy is going to go Where am I? Am I dead? Yeah. Oh, where I died. Blind them with us. Just run, bro. Just fucking run. <laughs> there goes his all. They've been a very rough game, honestly. Come on, bro. Don't oh. thank you, dude. Mundo's cut to the only champ. Ugh, yeah, as I said, more reminder or more dominant of the storm. I don't want to know if it was better. It's probably more dominant better than how much healing. If they jet had Mundo healing, then I would have gone more dominant just to match him with the threat against him. Because, you know, he's throwing even more on it. But, because. They have so much healing. Lord Dom probably would have been better off than just to deal with the life deal they have. He'd been a matter to um that he not know that I had just pure AD dude. <laughs> like pure AD does no match it to like you buy kind of my damage because I don't know <laughs> We're taking the Yelda and the Legion was taking the Yelda even though all we have is Nine. So we think of Nine. We have Triple Inferno. We gave Dump. That guy should have got the fuck out of the pit. We don't want to fight him right now. Now we do. Now we don't. Ah, I should have held my ult. Turaka used her ult, I think, there. I should have held mine. I had no one to get ult there. I thought her ult was on cooldown. Honestly. Mine. We're trying to recall here, but they're gonna come and try and prevent the recall, I guess. Try to call time. I'm fine with that. It's it all. <laughs> no 
most you think would be able to seal that quick enough. But nope, apparently can't. Yeah, like that more dominant or more mind was than that in the band dance of the game. Because uh you see no one here doing on the set at all. The guy could build it, but he had to the guy had an anti-heal item, so maybe if I knew he was gonna be in team fight, but he he had his ult that made him go alone, so it's like I don't know. Um He should just use it all on Mundo. I know he won't be able to kill the Mundo, but like get the Mundo away from the fight for a bit. So that we can focus on Mundo's weaker teammate, uh, much easier for us to kill. Guy doesn't know what he's doing for the most part, so he's just ulting random people and just not calculating who to ult. You should really be ulting important people on any team. And honestly, the most important on the team is gonna be that fucking Mundo right now. That Mundo, as you can see, has only bet almost no that only no that deal as well, but she isn't gonna do that much. Like, I come here just to fear my team's gonna fight without me. I just wanna get that pushed up a little more. Um, it was way too close to the inhibitor for my liking, so I'm actually gonna go down here. <laughs> so I think Torak is just used to ult there, that's why I took on the tip off that. It was a throw kill with Torak is just used to ult, even though I would take some damage. Oof. Echo just freaking one shot at me. Yeah, I'm being GA again. I have no magic, that's too strong. So I need to be a punch on me. Honestly, that's the team is just AD, so if I I don't want to build magic just for two. Like I can gen like I'm just pinging help, help. Um god, god, don't worry about Baron right now, worry about the inhibitor. Uh, the next is I should say. Uh, the next is literally what's about to be destroyed and very close to being destroyed. Like Baron should be the last thing on your mind right now, guys. Seriously needs to keep on because it doesn't matter if we get the Baron. If we don't have a net that we lose. Baron ain't gonna do shit if our net got destroyed first. Fortunately, we were lucky enough that by the way, uh killed between two teams are pretty evened out. Gold ride's pretty evened out, but they have a lot of towers of our down. We have very few of that. We have no towers by the way. I just noticed that we have one tower actually. One tower. Wow. Yeah, and by the way, it just so happened to be my lane that still has a tower left. That's how it always is in the Kuiper game. I'm the only, my lane, the only one that still has the tower. That even happened in mid lane, by the way, when I'm playing mid lane. My, my lane is the last one to have a tower left. So as you can tell, I don't like our comp that much. Um, you have an Katarina and Rengar. Katarina and Rengar are both champs you have to snowball with. Sadly, there are no snowball in the line. So that's the perfect ult. He used that to really good show that he wasn't even fighting yet. You want to try and use that when a fight breaks out. But if you did two turns, then your enemy team is engaged, so you can just use that off you. Uh, yeah, it's dead. I probably should have more done it for more reminder because I do throw a little damage to that guy. It takes so long to keep going. We got the turret. The door just throwing him out like that. That was a very terrible all on her part. Like, there was no one really made it. There was no one low enough for the turret. She really doesn't know if he's going to a chance with that. By the way, the guy just had a freaking conversion. And he had all tried to do that. Yeah, I'm sure would have been really good this game. Thinking about it now. Oh, my God. 
kill from me, baby. Yo! I set that one up. <laughs> I got GA though. Yo! That's why I like GA. I buy GA just about every game, dude. Whether I'm snowballing and carrying or whether I'm not that much of a carry. It's just a good defensive item along with a bit of a power up. It does give you a little bit of attack damage. Not a lot, point five is not like anything crazy, but and it makes you a little harder for the enemy AD to kill, and then on top of that you get a revive, so it's pretty good defensive item. I build all in most of my game. Unless there's just no like AD on the end team or the only AD on the team just doing terrible, then like I'll go like uh, Ma and then just have like Ma and like Schmidt or something. <laughs> so yeah, I probably should have got rid of like my fan reactor for Ma or more Dominus this game. Yeah, we're gonna try and take the tower. We have a very good tower tank. Yeah, if I ain't gonna in that too many way pilots in this planet idea, I should have backed out. Or at the very least thrown a few bad pulls in the issue is uh, that turtle, when you're trying to fight them, the issue with that is turtle. That's a bad pull you can do. Yeah, now TFTA, yeah, like, what is this build? She went this, but do we even have armor? No armor here, tough for that. That's not much armor. Um. I don't, I don't know if that was really... Oh yeah, it's it's a bit of armor. Now they're on a net, it's just like... Just think of the title, just destroy these freaking minions. Get off my goddamn power! Doink! <laughs> Got him. But yeah, we don't have enough tanks to stop that here. Mango should back all up. Time time back out. Yeah, once we get um Mord in the fight, we quickly kill him because Mord to freaking hit him with Namacon. Keeps his healing shut down. So that's what I should've done. Get Lord Dominus to shredded his uh, armor a bit. Made him a little trishier for me because he would have had left armor. And then. From there, what I could have done is I could have hit him in the face. Yeah, Lord Dominus would have been either that or a uh, mortal mind actually. Well, mortal mind, because that way I myself could have been providing anti heal. Yeah, there's more as you see with Tutin. That is but Tutin pretty bad this game. If he's dying that much. But unfortunately that it means we can't rely and this late in the game where your repawn time's like a full minute or more. We just can't afford that so Yeah, I should have went more reminder, given up to that because my protection in the game been quite smooth. The most bad. Again, more dead, so now we have no way to deal with myself. So yeah, I should have went more mind in this game. But you think with more he would be smarter not to be dying like that. Like, for example, instead of building Bobo, he should have went a straight up tank item. AD being the main force damage and all that. And then maybe instead of Tonya get like pure vices and then like a dead man like you or something. 
And now they have an Elder Dragon, so, you know, three Infernos plus an Elder now buffing that up. They just have a ton of fucking damage. The fact of even been able to fight them right now, the fact that when they had three Infernos, now they have an Elder Dragon buffing it. It's like, oof. Very rough. No objective control from our uh, as I said, we have no See what it's surviving through. Too All that damage coming through. Pretty strong quick enough. Yeah, more mind there. Would have been a good idea. I don't think I probably wouldn't have needed more mind if freaking this more would not be dead all the time. Then he could have just provided us the anti-heal through here. And what I could have maybe gone done because of hit armor. Hit armor and hit armor and hit armor. To gone Lord Dominic to maximum to shred the armor. Because Lord Dominic offered up more um, armor penetration than Mortal Minder. But Mortal Minder and gives you an anti heal. So I don't know. I know more. Well, I've. You know, I've learned now, you know, I've played this game, and now I know what I should have done better. Now, I'll definitely test that for my next game. I'm always learning, always adapting. <sighs> Very frustrating game, though. Uh, with how well I did. How well I was playing in the other game. And the fact how much of a lead I was generating. But, whatever. You know. You win some, you lose some. The way of the game. The way of the game. You win some, you lose some. That's how the league goes. And, you know, I wish I could win more because my win rate right now is really bad on Zaya. My AT win rate in general is pretty bad. But, yeah. <sighs> Alright, let's see how much um, a pen that uh, Mortal Minder gives. I can't remember. It's like 25 to 35, and then Lord Dominic did 35 to 45 territory, if I remember right. So, let's see how much they both give. It's been a while. I don't build them much. You don't usually see much armor. Um, Leet not enough to be an issue for Desire. So, give 35. They give 25. 45 attack damage, 45 attack damage. But that gives give um, anti-heal. I wish that gave like 35 as well. Um, yeah, well, if it did, then people would never buy Lord Dominus again. <laughs> they would just buy Mortal Reminder. Because if they gave the same amount of armor penetration, then yeah, people would just buy that all the time instead. I think people buy that more than uh, Lord Dominus anyway, because healing and stuff. So yeah, if Mordecai to would persist him better and not die of so much, I think I could have just gone Lord Dominic to up how much penetration I would have had. Because to be honest, whenever we had Mordecai, it was very easy killing Mundo. Whenever we didn't have him, it was very difficult. So yeah, if we had Mordecai around more, then yeah. Probably just could have gone Dominic and up how much penetration I had. But yeah, you don't see Mundo these days. But yeah, alright, I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, peace.